What it do, my Fly Hippie crew? It's official. P. Diddy has bought WWE. And what's the first thing he does to celebrate this big accomplishment of his? He throws a Diddy party. And we all know how Diddy parties go. And you gotta tell him no. Unfortunately, Big Nasty P doesn't. P. Diddy has been seeing all the great work that Big Nasty P has been putting in for the WWE business. I like yeah. when you like this, daddy. Yeah. So of course, he wants Big Nasty at the park. So he ends up sending his assistant, Geneva Rose, to go and recruit the kid to come on to the Diddy Park. And Geneva and Big Nasty kind of giving off some, some type of chemistry already. Almost like Big Nasty done, uh... Four. Got the draws, okay? <laughs> So after Geneva invites Big Nasty and he says yes, unfortunately, he arrives at the party and he sees a couple people, but the first person that actually walked up and started talking to him was Young Miami. After not giving KD any play, Big Nasty can see that she's trying to throw him some, you know what I'm saying? Right when Big Nasty can close the deal, here comes P. Diddy. P. Diddy started asking Big Nasty, hey man, when you gonna party with me? You need to come back to this room back here and party with your boy. Now at this point, Big Nasty P's radar is kind of going off. So he looks at P Diddy and say, nah, I'm good, bruh. I'm gonna go ahead and head on up out of here. And after saying that, P Diddy got some kind of look on his face and started acting a little more strange than what he already was. Saying, so you think you can come to this party and say no to Diddy? Jump this fool. Here we go, man. Let's smoke this boy, man. What they want me to do? Yeah. What I gotta do? Put a show on, okay? Oh. That's easy business, man. That's easy business. Tell me I put a show on. Yeah. Oh, my oh, man. Take it to him. That ain't nothing. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me I put a show on, but it got him bleeding. Right now, bro. What the hell? What? Of course, of course. Got his stupid ass. <laughs> the hell you were thinking? Get your ass out of here, man. Eh. Got your boy coming in here? Mm. Huh? Your boy can't save you, my boy. Your boy can't save you. Beat his ass, bit nasty. Hey! Oh, oh my man. God! Huh. Mm. Come on, bro. What? Bro, what you got? What you got? Eh! Eh! What you Mmm! What you Mmm! Woo! 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 Choke the sh**! What? Why choke the sh**? Why choke the sh**? Get out of him, man! Taste the feet! Woo! Literally! Literally! After Big Nasty P fought his way out of that party, he ended up going to the assistant to confront her about what just happened at the party. Now that's what I'm talking about! Top-notch TVD action! That was wrestling at its finest. As the person in the ring, I can assure you, it most definitely was not. No need to be salty. This was a great night. You knew that was going to happen with Imperium, didn't you? You set me up. No. And, frankly, I cannot believe after all we've been through, you could accuse me of something like that. Set you up? Me working with Imperium? No, it's a business. And business is going to be good after all the buzz around this. Glad I could help. <laughs> me too. So now, thanks to Geneva, P. Diddy has sent his Imperium goons out to go and get Big Nasty P and end him, bruh. So Big Nasty P knows he has a bounty on his head, so he gotta get out of Dodge real quick. El Ordinario don't hit the kid and said, man, come on to Mexico so you can get this paper out this way. So after landing in Mexico, he meets up with El Ordinario to find out that this dude was paid by Diddy just to all Big Nasty P as well. So now, Big Nasty P gotta put hands on this dude too. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Damn. Got him. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Got him. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. my neck. There we go, man. Y'all know my signature. Put him on that neck. Mm. Oh, my neck.
Put him on that neck piece, huh? Oh yeah, take some of that. Break his arm. Mm. Stumping me out. Mm. Hey, thank you up. Get it to him. Mm. Hey! Get up. You ain't sleep. You ain't sleep. Go on, put him to, put him to bed, man. Put him to bed, man. Count them out, bro. Come on. Let's go, man. Can't trust nobody out here, man. So after whooping on Ordinario, Big Nasty P flew back home thinking, hey, man, I'm fine. I'll deal with them boys if they ever pull up. It's what up. But at the airport, he ran into Ava Marino. She was stating that her boyfriend, Tommaso, was putting his hands on him. And she wanted Big Nasty to do the same to him. So Big Nasty P being the ladies' man that he is, said no problem. Y'all know what I do, man. Y'all know what I do, bruh. Give him a wedge. Mm. Oh, my oh, nice. God. Yeah. There's not much room out there. Oh, oh my man. My neck. My neck. Break his neck. Oh, hey! <laughs> Some up, son. Stop playing around! Right. Oh, oh, man. Man. Peace, man. Let me show sure y'all you drop somebody on their head. Oh, oh, my God! Got him. Got him. Drop his head. You're finished. Get him out of here, man. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. Stop putting your hand on women. So after Big Nasty P handled the woman abuser, his old partner Tavish pulled up at the airport as well and told him he needed his help choking somebody. And y'all know the art of Big Nasty P's favorite move. Choke up. So of course, Big Nasty P accepted. While rolling with Tavish, Big Nasty P kind of realized they rolling in a familiar looking area. And it was the high school that Big Nasty P went to. So they get out and they walk inside the school. And guess who was there? That boy did. Come to find out, P Diddy had some blackmail on Tavish due to him being a principal at the school. And let's just say he was messing with younger women. So now in order to clear the blackmail, Tavish had to try to finish off Big Nasty P. Old friend. Eh, eh. But you ain't finna take me out. Hey! Mm. Get up, man. Mm. Oh! Oh! Damn it! Ah! 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 Get off me, man! Get off me! Get your hands off me, man! You shouldn't have been doing that to the girl. Drop him on that nugget. Mm. Oh, my neck! After I treat you like family, it's how you treat me? Mm. Hey. Get up, man. I ain't through smoking you. I ain't through smoking you. Uh. Mm. On that nugget. Oh. Get up. Uh. Mm. He needs some milk. What the hell? Oh, is damn it. Oh. <laughs> Touch me in my head, old man. Woohoo! On that nugget piece, man. The hell you think? The hell you think you going? Drop him on his stuff. Get up. No, the hell you think you are? Oh my neck! How did he get out of there? Finish it. Finish it. He needs some milk. Come on, man. Get up. Get up. 
taking out his old friend Tavis. He had to take a moment and show his respect for his home. But after he did that, he wanted to take care of Diddy. Filled with rage, he turned around and saw Diddy was gone already. But make sure you catch the next episode because it's going to get really crazy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video up if y'all enjoyed this content. Make sure you hit that taco bell so y'all won't miss not a nan, not a drop that I put on this channel, all right? If you like any of the merch that you see on the video, make sure you go in the link in the description below, flyhappyapparel.com, and copy some. But y'all take care of yourselves, man. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. Until the next one, forever love yourself, hippie. Two. Boom!